In this video, I'll show you how to use import from Excel feature to import records into your model driven app. Now the scenario, I have this application world airlines management system, which has list of airlines, aircraft models and destination cities. Now we'll focus on one of the table aircraft model. Now, if I want to add a record into the system, what I'm going to do, I'll click on new and then I will start inputting the information. So let me type in Boeing 737 max type as a single aisle and a range as short range or medium range and I'll click on save and this is how I fill the form information. Now think about it if your form is long or if you want to add say more than 100 records. Now adding manually this information will take long so for that uh, you have multiple options so first thing what you can do is you can import from excel you can import from csv or you can import from uh, xml file as well now let me delete this record which i just created manually so i'll show you an option how to import from excel now if i go into the list if you have the correct column configuration so like name type and range now depending on your form so my form is very simple it has three columns so i'll click on this three dots in the ribbon and i'll say import from excel so i have other options import from csv import from xml but i'll just pick up import from excel in this example so as you hover mouse over here it says open import visit to import from excel file so you need to have an excel file to uh, import and then you can import that record so i'll click on import from excel i need to select a file now we can import any excel file but then it has to be in a proper format now if you start creating your own excel file format the system may or may not uh, import those correctly so advisable is first to download the excel file so instead of importing let's do <coughs> a reverse approach first so i'll say export to excel okay so i'll say export to excel and then it will start uh, exporting the uh, excel file so let me open this file now this file is opened so let me show you in the screen so it has exported this file with all the record now currently i do not have any information within the uh, system I will just say click on enable editing and I can start typing the information over here name type and range now I can start typing uh, the information so let me type in say Boeing 737 and then I'll say single aisle and short to medium range so Boeing 737 and I can select the type because this has ex exported the type field as well and the range as well so i'll just say short to medium range and next record i will just go ahead and type in boeing 747 wide body and let me pick as a long range so this is how i can type in the information manually right or if you have this information somewhere in uh, the database, you can also copy the information. So let me uh, copy the information with some more records. So two records I have manually added, but the other record I will just paste it. Now, as you see over here, I have pasted some information. Uh, I, ha I had this information somewhere in my system. So I just copy pasted it and it has picked up correctly. All done, click on save. So active aircraft model 17525, 1647 PM. Again, come to this three dots. Now, instead of exporting, now we have already formulated that Excel file. Let's import from Excel. Click on choose file. And I'll select active aircraft model. Click on open. And now I have an option to either select the owner for imported record or I can keep it blank. So let me keep this blank for a moment. It's, it doesn't look like a mandatory field, so that's fine. I click on next. It says you are about to import active aircraft model. It has given the size of that file as well. So it is 12 kilobytes. 
Now I have an option to either go back, review the mapping or finish the import. Now I'm not allowing duplicate. So if I say allow duplicate, I just need to turn this on. But in this case, I'm not worried about duplicates because this is just a first input and I don't have anything in the system. Depending on your scenario, you can either allow duplicate or no. <clears throat> I'll keep the setting as it is and click on review mapping. Now in review mapping, it has properly picked up the fields. Now why it has picked up the field? Because we have done the correct way of importing the record, right? Now, instead of directly importing the record, first what we have done, we have exported the file format so that we know what format does the system supports. Took the help of that and imported that in a uh, in the application. Now here, uh, name is mapped to name, so all good. Range is mapped to range type is mapped to type. Now, if you wanted to see what all range the system supports, you can click on this. And then here you will see the long range, medium range, medium to long range, short range, short to medium range. If you want to see uh, what are the type the system supports. So let me close this. I'll click here and then it will show you these are the different types the system uh, supports. Uh, so it has given military aerial refueling aircraft, military transport aircraft, single aisle, wide body, because these are the information which is available in from a, uh, uh, from the data perspective. Now, as you see over here in the data, which you have imported, it had wide body, it had single aisle, it had military transport, it has military aerial refueling, but it didn't had, uh, specialized cargo okay so it hasn't mapped it okay so it has it is showing you the data mapping with the data which you have currently okay so it is mapping all correctly all good i have an option to select and put the data map i will just say um see boeing data map and i will click on finish import now it says your data has been submitted for import i'll click on track progress it will take me off from the screen and it will take me to the import process. It will show me that this is the file name and this is the status reason submitted. Uh, let me refresh it. Now this is parsing. It has picked up 15 records uh, and then it will start parsing this 15 uh, items from the data. It is now transforming the data so that it fits into the correct columns within the application. And once it is transforming, uh, it will start importing those records. So I'll just click on refresh so that you see all the status. Now it is importing and now it has completed the import process success 15. Okay. So this particular import process uh, has imported 15 records using the uh, Excel file import process. So let me go back to the model driven app. And now if I go to aircraft model, as you see over here, it has correctly picked up each and every record, mapped it against that choice column type and range, and it has filled those record. And you can see this 15 records uh, added. So if I go into one of the record, and if I want to navigate through all the record using record set navigator, I can just navigate to all this record and you will see this form with all the values listed over here. So this is how you basically use uh, import from Excel feature, uh, which opens an import wizard to import from an Excel file. But before we import an Excel file, it is essential to know the format. And that's why we have to do some the reverse process. First use an export to Excel, get the schema of the uh, application and try adding the record within that schema and then import the record. Now. If we again import that same Excel file, so let me go ahead and import from Excel, click choose file. And if I again import that same Excel file and click on next, and if I say allow duplicates, then what might happen is if I allow duplicates, then all this 15 more record will get appended within the system. So we'll have 30 records. But if I don't select this option, the mapping will not import the record because it will find the duplicate within the system and it will 
it will finish successfully. However, it will say zero records imported because now we have 15 duplicated record. So this is also uh, an important thing if you want to maintain the data consistency or if you are importing the data uh, into the already existing system, uh, then this is a best option to uh, either select allow duplicate or not depending on the user scenario if it is a transactional record yes you should allow but if it is just a master field or a reference field then it is advisable to not allow uh, the duplicates so that's it folks this is how you basically import a data from an excel file in a power apps model driven app thanks for watching